hello everyone in this video we will see how to configure the field level security in dynamics so any field uh, when you think uh, that will contain some sensitive data and that field need to be accessed by the some higher persons in your organization and you will restrict the access to that field by lower users then uh, you will configure those field as a uh, secure field so when you uh, secure any field then you will have only three permissions uh, read permissions create permissions and update permissions so read permissions will allow you to see the data in that field create permission here it will allow you to uh, set the data while creating the record it will that field in that field we can set the data when you will create the record and update will allow you to edit the data in that field so any field security when you uh, when you enable any field for the field security then uh, the that field will be available for the field uh, security profile and uh, we we, uh, we have to create one security profile and then we can give the permissions how we want so as soon as you will enable the uh, field uh, security for any field then that field will be available in your security profile also uh, the system admin is kind of the very high uh, you know the they have it, the system admin will have the all the access in the dynamics so uh, uh, when you log in as a system admin you can see all the data uh, all the uh, all the field secure data so it means you will have all the permissions read create and update however if you want by some users to be uh, accessible based on the permissions then you can do but as a, for the system admin you will have all the permissions also uh, the when you uh, when you get the uh, field then since it is available into the profile then for the profile you can assign the uh, user or the team so the member of that uh, you know the the profile whether it is user or team they will have this security applied to that field so i'll show you how to configure this so i have logged into my dynamics here and uh, this is my uh, setting area here so you can go to the security and the field security here so here uh, you will see some uh, field security already will be uh, configured and they will be system admin con system admin so when you see this um, you will see all the secure field available here you go to the field permissions you will see you will see all the secure fields available here and you can see all the permissions here read update and get it is marked as this because of that you know, the admin will have all the privilege all the privilege for all the available secure fields so likewise you, we have to create uh, our another our separate uh, a secure field profile and in that we'll map the users okay so uh, what i'm going to do is uh, uh, since uh, uh, I have logged in here with the uh, with the my uh, admin privilege here, admin uh, admin role here, so I, I will go to my entity where I want to uh, put one field as a secure. So already I have created a couple of field here. You can see these are the uh, four fields uh, which I have created. I have enabled this field as a secure field, and this field I have put on the uh, put on the uh, file uh, put on the form here. So when I open the student record here, I you can see. Uh, since this is through the admin login here so i can see uh, those fields uh, with the for all privileges so for this field here below you can see i have put on the phone so i can edit update uh, and create uh, so or i can do with this because this is admin login so i have all the privileges by default so uh, you can see this these four fields uh, i have put here so now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create the another profile and I have another user login here so this is the uh, a separate user login here so this is normal user and for this user we will uh, uh, give the field permissions okay so you can see when I'm trying to access uh, this record from on the student here so you can see this is giving me with the asterisk here so it means I don't have uh, access to view the data from this uh, secure fields okay so we will create the profile for that so here with the admin login so before that i'll get let me quickly tell you one thing here uh, that is there will be some field out of the box and you will see the field security will be not applicable it means there will be some uh, some type of field when you create those fields uh, you cannot make as a secure fields you can see some data of uh, uh, date type field here you can see like uh, uh, created on uh, created by some these are the auto box you can see the modified on so the, these fields uh, will be blocked 
uh, from making as a secure field because these are required for the business perspective. So uh, you cannot do that and there are some type different types of fields you cannot make it as a secure one. So you can see you cannot enable these fields. So uh, likewise uh, when you see any field which is uh, uh, marked as not applicable you cannot uh, uh, change the uh, secure form uh, uh, you cannot make this field as a secure field however if they are uh, disabled then if you want to make this any field as a secure then you can go to the field here and you can change this to uh, secure here so you can make this as enable and you can save so by default when you create any field by default it will be a secure field will be disabled and the auditing will be enabled so like that, like that, I have created a four field here and already have put on the uh, form here. So for these uh, four fields, I'm going to give, uh, uh, I'm going to give permissions to the another user here, which I have logged in here, right? This one. So I'll go to the admin here, and I'll going to create the new security profile. I'll name it as a test security test field security profile. okay and save this so once I'll save then if, if when you go to the field permissions you will see all the uh, secure fields here so it means uh, all the fields which we have enabled for the field security it will display here but uh, our interested is the uh, on the uh, student entity I have uh, four fields which are secure so I'm going to make that so here these are the four fields for me options it so I'm going to make this as a first of all I'll make this uh, you can bulk edit so I'll select those four and I will edit here uh, first I'm going to give this as a read permission so I want to see the data inside that field so as you can see here for this I cannot see the data what is available here so it is with the asterisk here right so I'll make this as a read only at least so I'm going to allow with the read only so click OK So here uh, below, when you see, you can see those four fields uh, marked as read equal to yes. Okay, and now here in the members we have to, we have to choose like if you have some list of users you want to allow, you can add the users from here. If you have teams, you can add the teams over here. So for those teams, this profile will be applicable. So here I will add the user, and uh, this is my user. So this is a, a CRM uh, demo user one. So I'm going to add here. I'll select this user okay so now it is added so now uh, security is applied to this field now so what I'm going to do I'm going to refresh this field, uh, this page now After refreshing, uh, I'll scroll down. I'll see here. So, data are not there because of that. I cannot see any data for this. So, uh, let me go to the strand here. I'll see. Uh, other, I uh, I will open the other strand here. So, suppose this one. And you can see, I can see the data. When data will be available for these fields, then I can see. But, however, I cannot edit because I don't have the edit permission here, right? I don't have edit permissions I cannot e edit so I'll go I'll go here I'll add the edit permission here now so in the field permission here uh, for those field four fields I will add the update permission so here the update permission is added for that now so again I will refresh this page So now you can see I can edit now. So because now I have permissions to edit this record, uh, these fields, right? So you can change this. You can change the data into this field. 
so now but here still we don't have create permission so what uh, suppose you are going to create the new record of this type and when you go to the here to this field now you will see these fields are locked still because you don't have create permission so i'll go here i'll uh, add the create permissions also for this one and add okay it is done so i'll refresh this again So when I'm going to create a new student, then you will see I have the permissions to set the data while creating the record. So this is how you can configure the uh, secure field and you can apply the uh, secure uh, field secure to the teams and users. So I hope you have learned this, uh, how to configure this uh, field security in the dynamics and thank you for watching this video guys.